Yeah, it's it's so scary when an attack occurs, and and for asthmatics, especially those who aren't well managed, um, exercise is often a trigger for them. So we've heard from so many kids and their parents um, that they start developing a real fear of exercise. Um, do you have any advice for kids or families who may be trying to start on an exercise program? Well, you, you, you have to be cautious of that because it can induce exercise-induced asthma. It's one of the certainly known causes of it. However, it's also one of the ways to treat it, and, and it actually alleviates an attack sometimes when it's occurring. The question is, you know, everything has to be done when, when there's an attack in moderation. You can't go out and climb Mount Everest. You can't go out and you know, sprint all out. They have to do exercise carefully. And the general rule, I think, is that if, you know, you, you want to exercise to the point where it's uncomfortable for you to talk. If you're walking along and you're talking to someone, you're probably not exercising enough to really help you um, from a cardiopulmonary standpoint. But if you're, you know, you, if you have to breathe hard enough where you can't talk, then you're, you're probably doing yourself enough uh, benefit to help. But parents shouldn't fear exercise. They should be mindful of it, cautious of it. And the, the athletes or the children should always be prepared, wherever they are, to treat themselves because you don't have a lot of time. It happens so quickly and it comes on. So it, one minute you could be fine, and the next minute they're <laughs> you know, struggling to get air in. And it, it just doesn't uh, take long, but it usually is fairly responsive to... You know, the inhaler, um, in, some, in some cases where they need even more drastic medication, but it, it is usually responsive to, to just an inhaler to get them back to a comfortable state within a few minutes 